In physics, we define the binding energy as the total mechanical energy that is needed to disassemble a complete atom into its constituent subatomic particles, into its neutrons, protons, and electrons. So to see exactly what binding energy is and how it works, let's look at the following example. So how much energy is needed to separate the subatomic particles that constitute a helium atom. So assume that the rest mass energy of the proton and the electron is 1.00783 unified atomic mass units. The rest mass of the neutron is 1.00867 unified atomic mass units and the rest mass of a complete helium atom is 4.00260 unified atomic mass units. So basically, we're looking for the binding energy. We're trying to calculate how much total mechanical energy is required to completely disassemble our helium atom. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram, which basically describes what is taking place. So we have the rest mass energy of our helium atom that is composed of two protons, two neutrons found in the nucleus, and the two electrons found outside orbiting that nucleus. So if we take the rest mass energy of that helium atom and we add the binding energy, we input that mechanical energy to break that atom, we will produce the following constituents. So we have two neutrons, two protons, and two electrons. So the rest mass energy of all these individual subatomic particles is equal to the binding energy plus the rest mass energy of our helium. So, let's actually take this illustration and transform it into an equation. So, the rest mass energy of the helium plus the binding energy is equal to the rest mass energy of all these particles. So we have two protons, two electrons, and two neutrons. So two multiplied by the rest mass of our proton plus two multiplied by the rest mass of our neutron plus two multiplied by the rest mass of our electron. Now, what we're trying to find is the binding energy. So let's take this equation and solve for the binding energy. The binding energy is equal to the sum of the individual rest mass of each one of these subatomic particles minus the rest mass of that entire complete helium atom. So, Notice that we're given that the rest mass of the proton and the electron is 1.00783. So that means if we take the sum of this quantity and this quantity, that gives us this quantity. So this plus this gives us a value of 4.033 unified atomic mass units. We take that and subtract 4.00260 unified atomic mass units and that gives us 0.0304 unified atomic mass units. So we conclude that this is the quantity of energy known as the binding energy that is required to basically break apart this single helium atom. Now we can also look at this reaction in reverse. So if these individual subatomic particles combine, they will form our single helium atom and in the process energy will be released and that energy is equal to the binding energy that we calculated before. So this process is essentially an exothermic process. It releases energy while this process, the breaking of our atom into its constituents is an endothermic process. It requires energy to actually take place.